Ask Reddit. What was most unexpected occasion that led to you having SX? NSFW. Was walking home from the bar through a quiet neighborhood. A very cute girl was sitting on her front step and asked me if I knew what time it was. I answered with it's pretty late. You should probably be heading to bed. To my surprise she responded with you're probably right. Want to join me? I thought she was joking. She wasn't. My brother was in a car accident. I ended up hooking up with one of the witnesses a few hours later. My bro was a touch salty about it. I'm the one that was in the accident damn it. The first date I went out on with my fiance. She was hesitant to end the night on a kiss. Which led me to believe that she would like to take things slow. I was fine with that. I like slow. Slow is good. On the third date we were kissing in my bed. I'm a goofball and I tell a lot of jokes and get the idea to go for one of my old standby jokes that always gets a good laugh. I ask her if she wants to play fire truck and begin to slide my hand up her thigh, telling her that when she wants me to stop, just say red light. The joke is supposed to be that fire trucks don't stop for red lights. But she doesn't say red light, and we have SX instead. And it's fine, because SX is fine, and being engaged is also fine. But I didn't get to do that joke, and that really pisses me off. A friend of mine was over. We'd been friends for years, and while I found her attractive, never thought about her romantically. We were discussing types we like, and she basically told me hers is the opposite of me. I didn't take it as an insult, that's her choice, man. Anyway an hour later I'm banging her on my bedroom floor. Honestly, gun to my head I can't remember exactly what I said in that hour, but I must have spit the game of my life. Never went anywhere. We remained friends. She's now happily married and has kids, and I'm with an SO of 5 years. I was a third party member of a car crash. A car crashed into the car behind me which slightly bumped into my car. The car behind me was like half destroyed from how fast the car behind them was going. Turned out one of the people in the car behind us was a girl I was friends with in secondary school, or maybe before, but it was around years 9 to 13. I don't remember. We got out, and she seemed to be in a state of shock, so I just let her hug me to calm down, and I hugged her back. I gave her and her friends a ride to each of their homes. As she was still in shock, the last one of her friends still in shock, and since we were good friends back in school, I dropped her off last as we talked on the way home. Well, I talked at first, and as she started calming down she started talking back. When I dropped her off she was mostly out of shock, but asked me to walk her to her door. She unlocked her door, and I was about to leave after saying goodbye. She realized no one was home, and wanted me to stay for a little longer, because she was still a little scared. I said sure as we could catch up more. She found a note saying her parents went out on a date, and wouldn't be home until late, so we were 40 minutes into talking, and she's completely fine now. We loved catching up, and missed each other's company, as you're probably assuming. One thing led to another with her subtlety moving closer to me and laying on me to relax and whatnot. We, cough, caught up a lot, and I didn't leave her place until like 8 hours later like 15 minutes before her parents arrived back home. We each have SOs now we are dating, but we are still good friends. I can tell you guys the time I almost lost my virginity in a pretty unexpected way. Almost. Younger me, clueless to everything female. No gf yet, nothing happened yet. Walking home from campus. I was going to drop my bag and get my, but downtown to the skate shop. Get me some new kicks with my b-day money. At the time DC Shoes USA were all the rage. There's this girl from class that all the guys are crazy about. She's kinda tomboyish and sporty. Let's call her Lara. As I'm walking I hear someone call me by my name. Turn around, it's Lara. I wait for her, wondering why in hell would she ever speak to me. Hey Huck Silver, what are you up to? Hum. Hey Lara, I'm going downtown to get me some new shoes at the skate shop. Oh, is it that store big punch? I was wanting to go there too. Can I come with you? She's weirdly handsy and all smiles. I panic and say yeah, that's the one. I guess you can come with me, yeah. So she then tells me that we just have to swing by her house so she can change and then we can go. In the elevator of her building she tells me that her parents aren't home 
all jiggly. This sheet is going miles over my head. I'm not putting two and two together at all. We get to her floor, get in the apartment, she tells me to wait in her room. I'm standing awkwardly in her bedroom looking out her window thinking I don't wanna miss the chance of getting my new sneakers. Suddenly I hear her say, in this super flirty voice, Huck Silver, I turn around. She's standing in the doorway, but naked. Doing this curved back thing, legs crossed. Smiling at me. I look at her for a split second, that for me lasted an eternity, I swallow a choke and I say, so, we are not going to big punch? Her smile instantly fades as she covers herself behind the door. A few seconds after she comes back dressed. By then I understood what I had missed, and I try to make small talk. She asked me to leave. One summer, I lived with seven other college co-eds, four guys, three girls, at Lake Tahoe. We raged every night, but, after weeks of non-stop partying, I wanted a break, especially since I worked construction during the day. So all my roommates go out. At about 6 o'clock, I get a call from a girl, but she called the wrong number. We laughed and she sounded really cute, so we talked for about 30 minutes. She had just arrived from Florida for vacation, and was trying to call the pizza place. Had a great talk, told her to call me later, if she wanted to, and never expected to hear from her again. Surprisingly, she calls around midnight. We talked for another hour really flirting. Eventually, I convince her to let me come pick her up. She had to sneak out of her father's vacation home, and meet me down the street. She told me she was blonde with green eyes, but I fully expected that she would be a pig. I was blown away when I picked her up, and she was an absolute knockout, way out of my league. One of the prettiest girls I've ever been with, and she was sweet and shy at first. I took her back to my place and we messed around all night long. Multiple times, every position, etc. One of the best experiences of my life. All because of a wrong call and my decision to stay home. TLDR, wrong number leads to great sx with gorgeous girl. In college I was at a dive bar with friends. Two girls walking with grimaces on their face, all pissy about something. Not being very experienced with bars, I said to my friend why would you even come to this place if you are going to be like that. I turned around, and one of the girls was standing right behind me, staring at me. I immediately apologized, and offered to buy drinks. Woke up in her apartment the next morning to Dawson's Creek rerun playing on TV. Was home alone one Friday night, and decided instead of drinking by myself I'll get a Uber into downtown, and try to make some new friends. Got in the Uber to meet a nice girl the same age as me. She asked what my plans were, if I was gonna meet up with people. Told her I was by myself, and just going to see what the night brought me. We had a really good conversation about music and friends on the 15 minute ride. When we arrived at the destination we exchanged phone number. I asked when she was gonna be off as we should make plans the very same night. Since she was an Uber she made her own hours, and completed a couple more trips, before texting me that she's off. We walked to a local co-op throwing a party, where we had a few drinks, and eventually found our way back to my place, where the rest is history. TLDR. Took a gamble going out alone. Made a friend. Went to buy a certain cereal. I wandered in two markets and neither had them. Then I went to a third market, and also there was none. I was really pissed off, because I really wanted them, so I decided to go to a big shopping center a bit further away. Just outside I noticed a bar, and decided to have one beer, because I was very thirsty and pissed off. Drinking a beer, some girl comes next to me sit, and tells me, that I look mad. I told her, that I was after certain serals, and she told me, that she actually has them. Took a few drinks in the bar, ended up at her place and the rest you know. She didn't have the serials. I had recently moved and realized a few checks I was waiting on got sent to my old building. I still knew the building code and had my old mailbox key, so I went over to see if I could find the checks. While I'm in the lobby two people, a guy and a girl, are talking in one of the first floor apartment doorways. I'm trying to be as incognito as possible, but one of them asks if I live in the building. I explain that I used to, but recently moved, and was trying to find some old mail. 
Then the guy says, maybe he will go to the show with you. So the girls tells me she is going to this show tonight, but her roommate bailed, and she didn't want to go alone, and asks if I want to go. I had never heard of the band, but I didn't have plans that night, and was feeling saucy, so I told her I'd go. We have a drink in her apartment, and then Uber to the show. Stand in line for about 45 minutes, until we get to the bouncer and find out that it's one of those free shows where you have to RSVP to get in. She felt really bad she dragged me all the way out there for nothing, and suggested we go back to her place and regroup and decide what to do next. We end up back at her place and start drinking then her roommate asks if we want to smoke, so we do, and then we end up playing Overwatch with her roommate and eating tacos at like 3 in the morning. Then she said it was really late and said I could stay there if I wanted, and one thing lead to another. Long story short, always make sure you get your mail forwarded to your current address, or don't, because then you might get laid. Hanging out with my best friend and a guy I thought had a crush on her. The three of us were cuddling and he let it be known that he was trying to duck me. Which led to us getting it on on my bedroom floor while my friend was asleep. A few years ago I was at a bar with some friends and there was a few people in our group I hadn't met who were there. One of them was this really cute girl, but had this dead mile long stare, like she was just looking into the abyss. Anyway, she goes out to have a smoke and I join her in having one, and we start talking. Few drinks later, and smoke breaks I get the courage up, to ask her out to which she immediately replies, No, but you can walk me home. No big deal, maybe she just wants to be friends. Her place is on the way to mine. Maybe a few blocks away, so being done drinking we gather our stuff and head out. She walks her bike, and we chat some more, get to her house, and she drops her bike on the ground, and tells me to go inside. I rush inside, and she literally carols me to the back of the couch. She was at least a foot and a half shorter than me, and she shoves me over the couch, and pounces on me. I'm pretty much in shock for the next bit as she just took what she wanted, overall pretty good time. The next morning. I wake up and have to go work at my restaurant job on a Saturday morning. She then calls me a peasant for having to work on the weekends. Got into a short police chase. I looked best young for my age in HS. Someone saw me making out with my HSGF and thought it was an older woman taking advantage of a younger man, so they called it in. We drove off cause it was awkward being stared at and next thing we know we are chased by police. They immediately pulled us over and interrogated us for like 2 minutes before we showed our IDs and were let go. Immediately went back to her place and had SX. Apparently it was thrilling for her or something. So by short police chase you mean you pulled over immediately? 